In today's note, we are going to look at expanding binomials. Uh, binomial is basically just means two terms. So what we're doing is we're multiplying two terms by two terms. And we can see an example here, the 2x minus 7 times 4x plus 9. So it's basically two terms in brackets multiplied by another two terms in brackets. This should look slightly familiar um, because we have looked at binomials before in factored form. So this looks very similar to our factored form that we are used to, maybe without the a value, um, but we have seen factored form of a quadratic that does look similar to this. So in the note, we are going to look at two examples, or two, not two examples, sorry, two methods of expanding binomials. You are free to use whichever method you prefer. Um, in, in the end, they both get you to the same answer anyways. The first one we're going to look at is the FOIL method. And FOIL stands, or is an acronym that stands for first, outside, inside, and last. And basically what that's referring to is that's referring to the order of what numbers or what terms multiply each other. So for example, our first numbers in the binomials multiply then our outside numbers multiply, our inside numbers multiply, and then the last numbers multiply. So it's basically just telling you the order in which to multiply these terms. Basically, every term in one bracket is going to multiply each term in the second bracket. So you see the 2x multiplies the 4x and the 9, the negative 7 also multiplies the 4x and the 9. That's basically to multiply and expand them, and then if we want to simplify them, we are just collecting like terms or adding terms together that we can, um, just to make it a little bit neater and simpler. So we're going to look through a couple examples of expanding and simplifying using the FOIL method, um, and then we'll move into the second method. So I'm going to break it down step by step, at least for the first couple. But if we start with our FOIL method, first, that means our first two terms. So x times x. So the first terms in each bracket are going to multiply. Then we're going to add the first number times the last number, or our outside. So our two outside numbers, so x times 4. Then we're going to multiply our two inside numbers, so 5 times x. And then finally, we're going to multiply our last numbers in our brackets, so 5 times 4. This simplifies to x times x is x squared, x times 4 is 4x, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times 4 is 20. You don't need to show all these steps. I would at least recommend you show this second step here um, to show what each one multiplies to, but you don't need to show the actual individual multiplication of the two terms. What we should see now is that if I can simplify this because I have some like terms here. I have two terms that have a single x with it, so I can add those together. So x squared stays the same, 4x plus 5x, or 4 of something plus 5 of something, equals 9x or 9 of something. And then the 20 stays as is because I don't have anything else to add to 20. And this is my simplified form. B, same idea. You know, go down, break through this step by step. Multiply our first two terms in the brackets, so x times x. Multiply our outside terms, so plus x times 6, plus our two inside terms, negative 3, so make sure you look in front of the number or the term to figure out the sign, so in this case, negative 3 times x, and then our last terms, negative 3 times 6. Again, you don't need to show these full steps to show this entire breakdown of multiplying. Um, I'm just doing it to show you where we get the numbers from. Then x times x is x squared, x times 6 is 6x, 
negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. I should see again that I have two like terms, the terms with the x. So when I combine this, x squared plus 3x minus 18. And usually if, you, if we've, we've expanded correctly, we should always be adding two terms and they should be in the middle. Moving on to C, again, slightly different because we have numbers with our x's, but again, the process is still going to be the same. Our first two numbers we're going to multiply, so 5x times 4x, plus our outside numbers, so 5x times negative 3, again, look in front for that sign, plus 2 times 4x, or our inside numbers, plus 2 times negative 3, or our last numbers. When we simplify, or basically multiply each one of these, so 5x times 4x, 5 times 4 is 20, x times x is x squared. 5x minus times negative 3 is negative 15x. 2 times 4x is plus 8x, and 2 times 3 is, or 2 times negative 3, sorry, is negative 6. Again, even though we had different terms than what we had in the last two examples, we're still adding our two middle terms here. So 20x squared minus 7x minus 6 is my simplified form. D, D is a little bit different because now I have a number in front. So I don't just have two binomials anymore. But we, as long as we understand how we multiply numbers, we can work through this. And when we multiply numbers, if we have more than one number in general, basically we just multiply the first two, then take that answer and multiply by the last one. So for example, if I have two times three times four, I do 2 times 3 first, get 6, and then multiply that answer by 4, and get 24. The same idea is true here. I'm going to do the 2 times the first bracket, which means I have to take that 2 and multiply it by each term, and then whatever that answer gives me, or whatever that product is, I'm going to multiply that by x plus 4, or my second bracket. So if I take the 2 and multiply it through, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So 2x minus 2 is my answer to the first multiplication, and I'm going to multiply that by x plus 4. And here, I'm going to use my FOIL method, so my first two numbers, so 2x times x, I'm going to simplify it a bit. 2x times x is x squared. 2x times 4 is 8x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. Even though I had something in front, I still see that when I go to collect like terms, it's the two terms in the middle. 2x squared stays the same. 8x minus 2x is positive 6x, and then minus 8. I've simplified everything. There's nothing else that I can add together. Right? Don't get confused by them both having x's. The x squared is different from x. And then the 8 doesn't have any letter, so it's not like the other two, so you can't add it together. E x minus 3 squared, this one looks different, again, because I don't have two binomials. All the examples we did, we had two binomials, or two brackets. Here we only have one. What we should recognize, though, is that squared basically means multiplied by itself. Right. So this bracket, x minus 3, is actually multiplied 
by itself, or x minus 3 times x minus 3. That's what that squared means. Right? We've seen squared before with numbers, like say 4 squared, it just means 4 times 4. Same idea here. This whole bracket is squared, so x minus 3 times x minus 3. And I can go through now because I see my binomial, so I'm going to use my FOIL method. First two terms, x times x, is x squared. Outside numbers are x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Inside numbers, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And my last numbers, negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Again, even though it looks different, we've done it, foiled it, the same two middle numbers are the ones that I have to add. So x squared and then negative 3x minus 3x is negative 6x plus 9. So again, a um, little bit different to get started, but essentially the same process. We still add the same numbers together, or the same two middle numbers we have to add, and we get our simplified term. f is identical to the last one, except we just have different numbers in our bracket. But again, the squared means it's 9x squared minus 2 times the same thing or 9x minus 2. I'm still going to use my FOIL method so 9x times 9x is 18x squared 9x times negative 2 wait no I'm sorry 9x times 9x is 81x squared 9x times negative 2 is negative 18x negative 2 times 9x is negative 18x and negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Again, similar. Two middle numbers are what we have to add up. 81x squared. And then we combine the 2, so minus 36x plus 4. And there we have our simplified term. So. In all the examples, the steps are the same. Um, you don't need to show steps like these where it's that entire breakdown um, of what you're multiplying, but you should at least show the two steps like this where we show the individual products and we show what we add together. So just keep that in mind when you're going through the practice and the assignments. That's the FOIL method. The box method, what we're gonna look at next involves a box. So what we have to do is we have to place the terms of one bracket on the top of our box and the other terms on the side. And we're going to multiply each corresponding row and column similar to a multiplication table. We then want to sim or simplify or basically collect like terms and write our answer. One thing to note, this only works with two brackets. So we need to have something like we see here where we have two brackets. If we don't, you may have to simplify before you use the box method. And we will go over some examples of that. So first what we want to do, I have x plus 3 and x plus 5. I want to write one bracket on the top. So I'll do x and positive 3 and x and positive 5. And it doesn't really matter which numbers you use or which, which position you put them in, right? It could be x and 5 on the top and x on 3 on the side. It doesn't matter which bracket goes where, as long as one bracket gets one spot and one bracket gets the other. Now we have to multiply each corresponding column and row. So in this first box here, I look at my two terms that make up this box, x and x. So that means this box is going to be x times x or x squared. This next box, x, we can see x and 3, those are going to be the two numbers that I multiply for this box. So x times 3 is 3x. Three and continue the pattern. 5 and x, so 5 times x equals 5x. And the last one, 5 times 3 
or 15. Again, um, you don't need to show the actual individual multiplication. You don't need to show this. I'm just doing it again, just at least for the first example, so you can understand where we get these numbers from. Now what we need to do is collect our like terms. And as long as we've laid out our, our brackets as we see them, it should be the two diagonal numbers that are our like terms. So when we add up our like terms, or when we want to simplify, those are the two numbers or the two diagonals that we want to add. So actually, let's just keep them highlighted. Those are our like terms. So if I want to write my answer, I have my x squared. I have my 5x plus 3x, so 8x, and then plus 15. If you wanted to, you could write out all the terms and then simplify it after. So you could write x squared plus 5x plus 3x plus 15. And then recognize, again, OK, the two middle ones are my like terms. And then combine them. Or you could combine them right from looking at the box. B, same idea. Take one bracket, put it on the top. In this case, remember, look in front for the sign, so negative 5 should be going up there. Put the second bracket on the side. Again, it doesn't matter which one's which. And multiply the corresponding columns and rows. So x time, or 6x times x is 6x squared. 6x times negative 5 is negative 30x. 12x and negative 60. Again, I see my like terms are the two diagonals. So I can do 6x squared minus 18x. So when I add these two together, I get minus 18x minus 60. And there is my simplified term. So I've expanded those two brackets, and this is my term. C. Again, same idea, 2x and then the minus 5, the x and the 4. Multiply your corresponding columns and rows, so 2x by x, 2x squared, x times negative 5, negative 5x, 4 times 2x, 8x, 4 times negative 5 is negative 20. Oops. So we'll keep everything color-coded. Might as well. We can see again the diagonal ones are my like terms. So if I want to rewrite this into the simplified form, 2x squared, the 8x minus 5x gives me plus 3x, and then minus 20. So that is my expanded and then simplified form. D, D looks a little different, and I don't have two brackets anymore. I have two brackets and a number. So that's that note that we were talking about earlier with the box method where you have to, you can only use this when you have two brackets. So what we need to do is similar to what we've done with, or what we did with the FOIL method, I need to multiply this 5 into my first bracket. So in this case, I end up with 5x minus 5 multiplied by x plus 2. Now I have two brackets, so now I can use the box method. So now again, taking one bracket, putting it through or to the top. Second bracket is going on the side. And now I'm going to multiply my corresponding columns and rows. 5x squared negative 5x, 10x, and negative 10. Again, I see that the two diagonals are my like terms. So 5x squared minus 5x minus 10.
is going to be my simplified term or expression. E, we've seen examples like E before um, with the FOIL method and all we need to do is just re remember that 5x plus 4 squared just means 5x plus 4 times 5x plus 4. Now I have my two brackets so now I can put my terms on the top and the side and I can multiply my rows and columns. 25x, 20x, 20x, 16. And again, we see our two diagonals are like terms. So when I combine all of it together, oops, sorry, this should be x squared. 25x squared plus combine these two diagonals, 40x plus 16. And there is my simplified term or expression. Finally, with the last one, same idea. As long as we recognize that the squared means multiplied by itself. So that I have x minus 7 times x minus 7. Those are going to be my two brackets. I'm remembering to include the negative in front of the 7 multiplying my columns and rows again I see that my two diagonals are my like terms so those are what I'm going to add together x squared minus 14x plus 49 is my simplified expression so that's using the box method to expand and simplify um, there may be some cases where you have to do a little bit of work before, like we saw in D, um, but this is another method that you can use to expand binomials. Again, whether you choose to use this method or FOIL method is up to you.